So today, today should be a good day. So uh, as you can probably tell by the title, um, we are finally getting our project car. I just woke up, you know, and I'm absolutely shattered. I didn't sleep at all last night because I was just so excited. <laughs> like a little kid on Christmas. But yeah, um, so we've got my mate Ian coming down for half eight. Um, in his van with a, uh, a trailer on back. And then we're going to go down to Blackpool. And we're going to go and pick up this car. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because uh, that just spoiled the reveal. But um, I'm going to tell you a few things about it. So um, the car is Japanese and it doesn't run. Now it's a very unreliable car. So I don't know why I've gone for it. I suppose what a challenge. But to be fair, what the videos I've watched on like rebuilding it doesn't look hard to do. You know what I mean? So, it's doable. It is doable. Plus, the reason why it doesn't start is just because of a, a simple valve that can easily be cleaned out, put back in. So, we'll probably do that today. See if we can get it running today once it's back on my drive. But, yeah. So, just waiting for Ian at the moment. And then we'll head off. So I just got picked up by Ian, um, just at Shell at the moment, filling up, and then uh, get on our way to Blackpool. Um, I won't film a lot in the van because there's not much point. Uh, probably pick back up with you when we get to Blackpool and uh, do the car reveal after I've looked over the car, make sure it's in, uh, it's in good enough condition to work on it. Right, lad, so I didn't film a lot when I was in Blackpool because uh, it was absolutely throwing it down. I am soaked. It took us about 10 minutes to get one back of the trailer as well, and it literally just started pissing it down. So I'm absolutely soaked. So back at home now, made the trip back, and we're going to stick it on drive. Oh, yes. We've got one, lad. Oh, it's Oh, me. Look at that. We own an RX8, lads. We own an unreliable RX8. The interior is just absolutely beautiful. Sunroof, heated seats. Oh, it's gorgeous. Does that look good in there? Wankle engine. Oh, can't believe I've actually done it. Lads, I just thought I'd give you all a little view. This is going to be, this is going to dominate the channel now. This is where we start doing a lot more videos, spending a lot of stupid money. Get this to a very good condition. But yeah, the woman who owned this before me i was actually just spent about one and a half grand on the suspension lifting and it's selling it because it doesn't run and we got it for 500 quid i think this is an absolute gold mine it's amazing in really good condition as well bar the engine so um yes this is the beginning of a new chapter oh home I am pissed right through. So, uh, yeah, first port of call. 
will be to batteries obviously flat as fuck so you can take the battery out stick that on charge straight away i'll do that today um try get the secondary shuttle valve out as well which is the fault on my car um clean it refurb it a bit stick it back in and see if we can actually get the car started and if the car does start down the line i'll get a compression test done just to see how the rotors are doing but we will be rebuilding it anyway because i want to bridge port the engine and stuff so you get the wap 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 where yeah, it's going to be a very good but very expensive project it's going to be mint so yeah lads i'll end the video there and i will be filming today as well obviously just removal of battery and removal of ssv have a look at it see if we can get started but i'm going to end this video here thank you very much for watching and hit that subscribe button to see this epic series of rx8 content and i will see you kids next time